Well, you know what they say, good times always come to an end. It's been nice knowing you Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and I'm ever so grateful for the many memories we've made together. Yesterday at around 4pm when I was banging out that being a keyboard because I was trying to get an assignment done. Can I just clarify guys? Blackpool Pleasure Beach revealed a brand new logo by changing all of their profile pictures on their social media. Confirming that they are now going to be known as Pleasure Beach Resort. As for the logo itself, it is somewhat reminiscent of the old logo that they had with the exclamation mark at the ends but instead of the words Pleasure Beach being in that and then Blackpool at the bottom indicating that they're of course located in Blackpool there is no hint of Blackpool in the logo whatsoever as was the case with the other new theme park logos that have been revealed in recent times those being for Drayton Manor and Fort Park Pleasure Beach's new logo hasn't been very well received at all with people comparing it to the likes of the IKEA and Ryanair logos due to the colour schemes and typefacing style used personally though, and I'm not the only one who has this view I don't really feel the new logo is the main problem. I mean, if you look at it, as I said, it still has reminiscence of the old logo. It's got iconography at least, and that's more than that can be said about Fort Park's logo where it's literally just some text in a non-custom font on a blank background. So props to Pleasure Beach to pay in some respects to their heritage that they're obviously ever so proud of. But it's clear that the same cannot be said for the town itself that it's located in because that's now completely absent from the name. And that isn't ideal when you've got two other parks in the UK that also have Pleasure Beach in their name. Those being Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach and Bottoms Pleasure Beach. With that being said though, people are falsely reacting as if Blackpool Pleasure Beach has always been known as Blackpool Pleasure Beach since it was first established back in 1896, which isn't true at all. It was first known as Blackpool Pleasure Beach up until the mid-2000s when they changed the name to Pleasure Beach Blackpool, which is where the previous logo spiralled from, with the name being then changed to what is now known as Pleasure Beach Resort in the early 2010s. And there's actually a wall located by the Pleasure Beach store with the words Pleasure Beach Resort on there and they've been there since that first name change and have continued to be there since the name was changed back to Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the mid 2010s and they're still actually there to this day so I don't know how more people haven't noticed that. I don't think the general public are going to care, I don't think it's going to have a negative impact on visitor numbers because Blackpool Pleasure Beach has always been the most prominent Pleasure Beach Park in the UK, let's face it. And it is a resort which those parks aren't, it's more significant, it's got hotels and shows that run throughout the year along with the amusement park itself. And with Amanda Thompson stating on a podcast published later last year that she's looking to expand the hotel and show offering at Pleasure Beach, then this rebrand does make sense. I just hope that she doesn't start to neglect the amusement park area of the business because there's a lot of trends going on with Fort Park's new roller coaster Hyperion, investments at Drayton Manor, Alton Towers going forward with a new flat ride. So Pleasure Beach are going to have to keep up with that with their amusement park offering of the rides that they're bringing in. However, that being said, there is hope. There's been marking spotted around Ice Blast at the end of last season suggesting that that could potentially be taken out since it's had a lot of operational problems recently. So who knows, we may be getting a new ride at Pleasure Beach sooner than people may think. But I do think they should have waited a couple more years to do this. It feels very weird to do so so soon after Fort Park have announced that they're going to be rebranding. It would have made more sense to let that settle in, live out the next couple of years as a lot of the other UK parks are investing and then go hard with this rebrand and investments to make a lot of noise and get more people coming back to the park. Opening day is only a couple of weeks away now but if you can't wait that long then go and check out my closing day vlog on the right side of your screen. Be sure to share your thoughts on this news in the comments below. Do you think that this rebrand is a good move or do you think that it's a genuine mistake as I feel about for parks rebrand? And for more things theme park related in the UK and beyond make sure you click the icon in the center of your screen to subscribe.